One of the most popular types of probability problems uh, that are out there are ones dealing with using a deck of cards. This is a really popular type of probability problem because a deck of cards has a lot of different things to it. There's a total of 52 cards in every deck. So we have a lot of different options to choose from. And in every deck, there are 13 different types of cards. There's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to make sure that's 10 is separate here. Then we have a, what's called a jack, a queen, and a king. And then, of course, we have the aces. The numbers from 2 to 10, these are referred to as number cards because they have digit numbers on them. Uh, jack, queen, and king are referred to as face cards because these pictures have, or these cards have pictures of faces on them for the jack, the queen, and the king. Now, there's 13 different types of cards, and then there's these cards appear with four different suits on them. There are hearts, there are diamonds, there are clubs, and there are spades. So you have, you can have like the jack of hearts or the jack of diamonds or the jack of spades or the jack of clubs. There's also colors associated with these. All of the heart and diamond cards are red, and all of the spade and club cards are black. So this gives us a lot of different options and types of things that we can use for figuring out probabilities. Let's suppose that I am interested in finding the probability. I'm going to pick two cards without replacement. So I'm going to pick a card, I'm going to hold it, and then I'm going to pick another card. And let's suppose that I want to find the probability of picking two fives. In this case, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to, so I'm, I'm doing two probabilities. I need two events to happen, so I'm going to multiply the probabilities of those happening together. First, I'm going to pick a 5 from the 52 cards. So 52 is going to be that starting probability number on the bottom. Well, how many 5s are there in the 52 cards? Well, there's a 5 of hearts, a 5 of diamonds, a 5 of spades, and a 5 of clubs. So there's a total of four different 5s in the deck of 52 cards. Now, I'm going to be holding one of those 5s in my hand because I'm not replacing. Um, and now I need to find the probability in the second pick. Because I'm holding the holding a card, there are now only 51 cards in the deck. And then I need to figure out how many, um, how many fives there are. Well, I'm holding one of the fives in my hand, so there's only three remaining in the deck. And this ends up being my probability. So we have that conditional probability because we're not replacing. We figure out the probability of the first one and then use that to decide how the probability of the second pick is going to end up being affected. Um, with that in mind, we can go ahead and do 4 over 52 times 3 over 51, and we end up with 0 0.0045 or 0.45% chance of that happening. So the chance of getting two fives one after the other in a shuffle deck is less than 1% chance of that happening. Let's suppose that I want to pick a red card and a black card and figure out what the possibility of that happening is. Well, in this case, if I want to end up with a red card and a black card in my hand, I don't really care which one gets picked first, but our probability calculations do require us to look at what's happening here because our probabilities have an order implied. So if I'm finding the probability of picking a red card and a black card, I can pick red first, then black, or I could pick 
black first, then red. In this case, I can have either this case or this case, so I'm going to add those probabilities together to come up with my final overall probability set. Um, so for, let's do the red then black first. There's 52 cards in the deck, so that's the bottom number of my probability. And then I want to pick a red card. All of the hearts and all of the diamonds are red cards, and there's 13 of each of those. So we have a total of 26 red cards in the deck. Then I want to look at my second event. I need both of these things to happen together, so I multiply these together. Um, when I go to do my second pick, because I'm holding the red card in my hand, there are now only 51 cards in the deck. How many black cards are there? Well, I'm holding a red card, so there are still 26 black cards left in the deck. If I do black then red, the same type of thing is going to happen. There's 52 cards in the deck. There are 26 black cards, so I can make my first pick. When I go to do my second pick, there's now only 51 cards because I'm holding a black card in my hand. Um, but there's still all 26 red cards left in the deck for me to choose from. So I can do 26 divided by 52 times 26 divided by 51, which gives me a 0.255 chance or a 25.5% chance of getting red than black. If I multiply these together, I also am going to get 0.255. And so altogether, there is a 0.510 or 51% chance of that happening, of getting ending up with a red card and a black card in my hand when I'm done.